The place was called Superla Spa. It was a full service establishment. Massage tables, salon chairs, mud baths, etc. The explosion went off a little after three. The squad car was two blocks away when the place went up, so the fire department was able to respond within four minutes. Not that it helped. The place was fully engulfed by the time they arrived. They were just lucky to keep it contained to just this building. I didn't know there was a spa down here. The building's been here since the late 70s, but it's only been a spa since 98. The gentleman in the corner there is Pete Baja. His company owns the Perla Spa. I took his statement, but you'll want to follow up with him too. Have you two met yet? Not officially. I'm Sarah Seidel. The team speaks very highly of you. You want to take that interview? This is the CSI tutorial. You can turn it off at any time by selecting the option on the tutorial window and enable it again from the options menu. The cursor is used to both navigate and to select, moving it to the edges of the screen. Hi, Pedro Baja. Baja, like Baja, California. But call me Pete. Everyone does. Well, almost everyone. You in charge of this place, Pete? I'm the CEO of Miel LLC. It's less impressive than it sounds. It's basically a holding company for a few mom-and-pop style businesses that were worth rescuing when the original owners wanted out. The company owns Super La Spa. What's left of it? To choose what to say, move the cursor over a topic icon and select it. We'll have to notify the claims adjuster when we've released the scene. Actually... This is kind of embarrassing, but the policy on this place has lapsed. You let the fire insurance on one of your businesses expire? It's complicated. We sent them a payment, but they said they didn't get it. Then they wanted us to pay a late fee and raise our premium. I mean, we've done business with them for years, and now they decide to penalize us over a little slip-up? I have some things You've I need to take care of. You've just received a case Here's file update. At least you can until access the, next the board case meeting. file by using your PDA. You can reach me at my office. Great job! You've found some evidence. Be sure to use your PDA to access the Evidence Viewer, so you can look at your findings up close. The PDA your objective is to the for the first time. The bubble will appear your case over notes the closed loop and, and actions of evidence and located at the top options. of your case file will give you an idea of what to do next. You can rotate around the evidence by selecting any part of it and moving the cursor in the direction you want it to turn. If the cursor changes to a toolbox, your tool case consists of four main sections. Fingerprint tools, fluid detection tools, collection tools, and casting tools for making molds. Move the cursor over the type of tool you want to use and select it. Be sure to try and match the type of tool some tools require you to hold the button down while moving the cursor. I don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. It was nice of Mr. Baja to give us his fingerprint like that. An arrow means that you can change your viewpoint. Your thoroughness score has increased. You can get a higher thoroughness score by navigating to viewpoints in a location that you have not visited before. We should take samples of soot from all around this place to see if we can find traces of an accelerant. 